there, this is Leanna with Tippy.com, and we are going to take a look at iMovie on the iPhone. iMovie is a video editing application made by Apple. iMovie can be used in portrait or landscape, so I prefer landscape, so that's what I'm going to do. Here we go. This is my project screen. From here I could scroll to all of my projects. I only have one at the moment. To add a new one, I hit the plus sign and um, I select which theme I want. Let's go ahead and pick news and then it begins a new Blake project for me. Um, I do not want to work on this one however, I'm going to go back to this one. So this is a video that I posted earlier of my um, testing of the iPhone 4's camera. So um, this is a completed video but we'll go ahead and edit it anyway. So let's go over here. So here's my timeline, and I can, you know, tap a tap a clip, um, tap my transitions, and edit those. We'll look at those more closely in a second. I'm going to go to the end of this clip, and this one takes me to my projects. This button adds adds new media. This one plays the video, and this one adds media directly from the camera. Okay. So let's go ahead and add a video. Let's add this one. And this is a video that I actually took with my 3GS. So as you can see, I have the black letter boxing on each side because it's not 69. Same thing with this, this video right here. This one was taken with the front camera of the iPhone 4. So it too doesn't fill. Um, if I come to this one, you can see it fills it all. That's an HD video right there. Um, so this clip here is a bit long. In fact, it's 16 seconds long, it tells me on the top. So I want to trim it down. So I can grab either the beginning or the end and trim it. Oh, I see. Th this is actually a problem in my opinion. The, um, oops. This button is always often in the way of me grabbing this. So I always have to make sure I'm over here and then grab it. And I can trim it up. And I can see at the top it's showing me how long my new clip is going to be. So I'm going to go to about 3.5 seconds, 3.7 seconds. And here's my new clip. And it automatically adds transitions. You can remove them if you want. Just tap on one, double tap. And you can choose none, cross dissolve, or theme. So let's go ahead and choose the theme. Let's make it a long transition, like 2 seconds, so we can see how the what type the transition looks like. And let's go ahead and see how that looks. Let's start here. I'll give you my first impressions. So, um, I'm in my front yard, and it's an there extremely we go. sunny day. Um, the one thing is the audio on that just seemed kind of awkward, right? So we can double tap the, the clip, and we get the clip settings. Here's where I could add a title, which is like what the previous clip had as a title. I can edit my location. Some titles include a, a um, location, some don't. So here's the different. There's none. Opening comes over here and I can double tap in here and type my title. And then it shows Denver on the bottom. I can't edit that. That's based on what I had chosen on the previous screen. Uh, middle shows it on the bottom. An ending, in this theme, I think it's a bug. I think the ending is supposed to come on this side, just like the beginning. Because um, that's what other themes do, but this one doesn't. So I think that's a something that needs to be fixed in the next update. So I'm actually going to choose none. And, oh, I wanted to turn off the audio. And that's, let's actually go ahead and add audio to... Um, my clip. Let's go ahead and put on the theme music. I could add my own music if I wanted, but I'm going to go ahead and use the theme music. And now let's see how that transition works. My first impression. So, um, I'm in my front yard, and it's an extremely... And as you can see, when there's audio in your clip, iMovie automatically lessens the volume of the background music. Okay, so... Now let's say, you know what, this, this, this clip actually has nothing to do with the movie, so let's get rid of it. 
hold it for a second and drag it out of the timeline and it's gone. Now let's go ahead and add a photo. Um, I wanted to show you something. So let's go ahead and add a photo at the end of this clip. Go to my photos, go to my camera roll. My camera roll has a lot of photos, hundreds and hundreds of photos, and the app definitely suffers. So watch this. Look at that lag. It is horrible. The other thing that is horrible is that it's showing me my oldest photo first. There's a really good chance if I'm editing a video, it's stuff that I recently took, and it's showing me my oldest first. In the videos tab, it showed my newest first, but cameras is oldest first. So when I was making this video, I had to scroll all the way to the bottom with this lag. And see, sometimes it jumps to the end like that, which is really nice, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, choose my photo. And stick it in. And as you can see, it added a transition as needed. And um, up here it says it's um, one second long. I want to make it more like three, so let's go ahead and lengthen it to 3, 2.7, 2.8, close enough. And um, now I can s set up how I want the panning to work on the photo. Unfortunately, they don't let me zoom out all the way. Um, I have to do some sort of pan. So let's go ahead. So right now it shows end is highlighted, so that's actually how it's going to end. I mean, it's dimmed. So let's do the start first. And we want it to start, let's say we want to start um, right here. And now we want it to end zoomed in here. And we hit done. And now let's go ahead and see how that looks. And there we go. Um, that is how you edit photos to be shown on your movie. And let's go ahead and get rid of this photo. And it gets rid of it and the transition that was with it as well. Again, I could have added my own audio. Um, I could choose from theme music. Um, let's choose playful. And now my music is different. Let's go ahead and hear what this one sounds like. It seemed to fix the exposure pretty well. So, um, there we have it. And the one thing you notice is that just changed the music for my entire video. I cannot have several tracks in my video. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. If I wanted, you know, when I got to the photos to switch to a new song, I can't do that. Uh, maybe that's something that they'll do in the future. It doesn't seem like it'd be that hard, so um, we'll see. Now that my movie is done, I come back to my projects, and I tap my share button down here. And here's where I get to choose if I want to export it in 360, 540, or 720p. So we've got medium, large, and HD. Um, I think my HD video that I uploaded earlier, which was this one, took about five minutes or so. It wasn't too bad, but, it, you know, it, it crawls. Um, but it is HD. One thing I did notice that is a bummer, and actually, you know what, I'll go ahead and start this while I talk, so you can see how slow it's going. Um, we have been able to upload directly to YouTube with the 3GS, and you can with the iPhone 4 as well. However, when you do so, it does not upload in HD, which is a huge bummer. Um, if you want to share your HD video, on YouTube, you need to copy it to your computer and then upload it to YouTube with your computer, not with the iPhone. Um, I don't know why this is the case. I'm hoping to see that change in the future, but as of now, that's how it is, and it is very annoying. Um, I did not realize this was going to happen. I uploaded my video, and it wasn't in HD, and it was a big waste of time. Um, so that was a bummer. Anyway, you can see about the speed it's going at. It's made a little bit of progress. And this is a 5 minute, 3 second um, HD video. So short ones will obviously probably go pretty quick. Um, yeah, so that is iMovie for the iPhone. And I am Leanna with Tippy.com. Thank you.